Their best hope is to have the hero die laughing. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst DC supervillains. Number 10, The Ten-Eyed Man. Kicking off our list is Batman's silly foe who appeared in 1970's Batman number 226. Once a regular two-eyed security guard named Philip Reardon, Crooks caused an explosion that blinded him before a shady doctor managed to graft his optic nerves onto all ten digits. Rather than blaming the Crooks, he swore vengeance on the Dark Knight, thus proving that two heads may be better than one, but ten eyes is just plain stupid. Number 9. Sportsmaster When your villain wears a black napkin with eye holes cut out as a mask, how can you really take him seriously? Lawrence Kroc started out with the working name Crusher Kroc in 1947's All-American Comics No. 85, before his rebranding in Green Lantern No. 28. Like a villainous Casey Jones, everything he did was sports-related, but with a twist. Exploding baseballs, knockout basketballs, lacrosse nets that ensnared people, the original Green Lantern sent him to the showers every time. Number 8. Rainbow Raider Introduced in 1980's Flash number 286, this Technicolor supervillain goes one color palette too far. A colorblind would-be artist, frustrated with his ailment, he went to the extreme. Sheesh, overreaction much? The obvious 80s addition to the Flash's and Green Lantern's rogues gallery, Raider commits crimes while riding a rainbow and wearing goggles that emit different beams of color. Number 7. Prankster Wow, this one looks familiar. While the Joker and the Riddler are similar enough as it is, the prankster emerged as a hybrid of the two in order to play jokes, sorry, pranks, on Superman. Miraculously, there have been several incarnations. Even more shocking, some of the prankster's cons have been kind of fun, like his scheme to copyright the entire English language. But like with real life pranksters, the jokes wear thin real fast. Number 6. Clock King Wow, now we're getting ridiculous, and this one even made it to TV. Some people kill time, but this time, time is going to kill you. A 60s villain originally appearing as The Clock, William Talkman, yeah that's his real name, was initially a green arrow enemy with the incredibly lame power of really good timing. With a costume this lame, it's unlikely that we'll be seeing this monarch anytime soon. Number 5. The Fiddler Ever wonder what to do with all those music lessons your mother made you take as a kid? Well, how about using them to start a life of crime? Somehow, the Fiddler's Fiddle is able to hypnotize people and create walls of solid sound. Like the Clock King, subtlety was not the Fiddler's forte when he arrived driving a violin-shaped car in 1948's All Flash Comics number 32. Number 4. Kite Man Batman, the scourge of Gotham City's underworld, has fought a wide variety of clever and demented villains. And then there's this guy, from 1960's Batman number 133. We're talking about Kite Man. Yes, Kite Man. Real name, Charlie Brown. We kid you not. He hang glides on a kite and busts other criminals out of jail with said kites. Outrageously, he even managed to knock the mighty Batman out with a kite. Hey, even Batman has his off days. Number 3. Polka Dot Man A villain whose power is... Polka Dots. Arriving in 1962's Detective Comics number 300, he is infamous for basing his crimes on dot themes. Which is... okay I guess? However, his costume was so dot heavy, it kinda makes you nauseous just looking at it. One sock to the jaw from Batman though, and this villain was seeing... dots. Which probably made him pretty happy I guess. Number 2. Crazy Quilt a painter blinded by a gunshot, this laughable villain arrived in 1946's Boy Commandos number 15. When the surgery that was intended to restore his sight backfired, he became only capable of seeing vivid colors, which drove him insane. Since he's capable of firing hypnotic beams, we'd like him to help us erase the memory of his incredibly gaudy costume. Who could keep a straight face when confronting this guy? Number 1. Egg Fu there's never been a villain quite like Wonder Woman's bizarre enemy, Egg Fu. A Chinese communist agent named Chang Tzu, this enormous egg with a Fu Manchu mustache arrived in 1965's Wonder Woman number 157. Why an egg? Well, no reason was given, other than the fact that it seemed to justify the racist name. Egg Fu uses his mustache like a lasso and talks with a horrendous stereotype that left DC with everlasting egg on its face. 
Do you agree with our list? Who do you think is the worst DC supervillain? For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Thank you.